Homo sapiens, or anatomically modern humans, are the only surviving members of the Homo genus and the only species of human that still exist today. The evolutionary journey of modern humans spans over 300,000 years and during this time, our species has undergone significant biological, cultural and technological changes. From the emergence of the first Homo sapiens to the development of agriculture and the rise of civilizations, the story of human evolution is a fascinating and complex one. From our earliest primate ancestors to the emergence of modern humans, the hominid family tree has seen many branches and extinctions. Yet, it is the evolution of Homo sapiens that has had the most profound impact on the world we live in today. Over time, these early humans developed unique physical and cognitive abilities that allowed them to adapt to changing environments and survive in diverse habitats. With the development of sophisticated tools and the use of fire, early humans were able to expand their range and occupy new territories. Homo sapiens migrated out of Africa and began to settle in Asia, Europe and eventually the Americas. This marked the beginning of the global expansion of our species, which would eventually lead to the rise of civilizations and the development of complex societies. The development of language, art and culture was a key factor in the success of early humans. By communicating through language and creating art, early humans were able to pass on knowledge and ideas from generation to generation leading to the development of agriculture and the beginning of human history. In this video, we will explore the incredible journey of Homo sapiens from the emergence of the first modern humans to the present day. The long evolutionary journey that created modern humans began with a single step, or more accurately, with the ability to walk on two legs. One of our earliest known ancestors, Sahelanthropus, began the slow transition from ape-like movement some 6 million years ago, but Homo sapiens wouldn't show up for more than 5 million years. During that long interim, a menagerie of different human species lived, evolved and died out, intermingling and sometimes interbreeding along the way. As time went on, their bodies changed as did their brains and their ability to think, as seen in their tools and technologies. According to researchers who have had a lot of experience and dug a whole lot of fossils, Homo sapiens originated in Africa, although not necessarily in a single time and place. It seems that diverse groups of human ancestors lived in habitable regions around Africa, evolving physically and culturally in relative isolation, until Climate-driven changes to African landscapes spurred them to intermittently mix and swap everything from genes to tool techniques. Eventually, this process gave rise to the unique genetic makeup of modern humans. 550,000 to 750,000 years ago, the beginning of the Homo sapiens lineage, Homo heterogensis. A facial reconstruction of Homo heterogensis showed that it is a popular candidate as a common in humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans. Then came the oldest recovered DNA of an early human relative, which comes from Cima de los Huesos, the pit of bones. In 2016, scientists painstakingly teased out the partial genome for these 430,000-year-old remains to reveal that the humans in the pit are the oldest known Neanderthals, are very successful and most familiar close relatives. Scientists used the molecular clock to estimate how long it took to accumulate the differences between this oldest Neanderthal genome and that of modern humans, and the researchers suggest that a common ancestor lived sometime between 550,000 and 750,000 years ago. 
Though our genes clearly show that modern humans, Neanderthals and Denisovans, a mysterious hominin species that left behind substantial traces in our DNA, but so far only a handful of tooth and bone remains, do share a common ancestor. It's not apparent who it was. Homo herobagensis is a popular candidate though and it appears that the African family tree of this species leads to Homo sapiens while a European branch leads to Homo neanderthalensis and the Denisovans. 300,000 years ago The earliest evidence of Homo sapiens with fossils found in Morocco and Ethiopia. No scientist suggests that Homo sapiens first lived in what's now Morocco because so much early evidence for our species has been found in both South Africa and East Africa. But fragments of 300-year-old skulls, jaws, teeth and other fossils found at the Jebel Erhard, a rich site also home to advanced stone tools, are the oldest Homo sapiens remains yet found. The remains of five individuals at Jebel Erhard exhibit traits of a face that looks compellingly modern, mixed with other traits like an elongated brain case reminiscent of more archaic humans. Other very old fossils, often classified as early Homo sapiens, come from Floresbad, South Africa, around 260,000 years old, and the Kibish Formation along Ethiopia's Omo River. The 160,000-year-old skulls of two adults and a child at Herto, Ethiopia, were classified as a subspecies Homo sapiens idaltu because of slight morphological differences including larger size. But they are otherwise so similar to modern humans that some argue they aren't subspecies at all. So when did fossils finally first show fully modern humans with all representative features? It is not an easy answer. 100,000 to 210,000 years ago, fossils show Homo sapiens lived outside of Africa. That is from a skull from Kavze. Many genetic analyses tracing our roots back to Africa make it clear that Homo sapiens originated on that continent. But it appears that we had a tendency to wander a much earlier era than scientists had previously suspected. A jawbone found inside a collapsed cave on the slopes of Mount Carmel, Israel reveals that modern humans dwelt there alongside the Mediterranean some 177,000 to 194,000 years ago. Other finds in the region, including multiple individuals at Kavze, Israel, are dated later. They range from 100,000 to 130,000 years ago suggesting a long presence for humans in the region. Even earlier migrations are possible. Some believe evidence exists of humans reaching Europe as long as 210,000 years ago. While most early human finds spark some scholarly debate, few reach the level of the Apidema skull fragment in southern Greece, which may be more than 200,000 years old and might possibly represent the earliest modern human fossil discovered outside of Africa. 50,000 to 100,000 years ago, migration out of Africa due to climate change and settling in Asia, Europe and eventually the Americas likely took place between 60,000 to 70,000 years ago. All living non-Africans, from Europeans to Australia's Aboriginal people, can trace most of their ancestry to humans who were part of a landmark migration out of Africa around this timeline, according to numerous genetic studies published in recent years. 10,000 to 50,000 years ago Genetics and fossils show Homo sapiens became the only surviving human species. Let us talk about Homo floresiensis. A reconstruction of this species reveals a diminutive early human that may have lived until 50,000 years ago. This timeline shows that we coexisted and as our genes make clear frequently interbred with various hominin species, including some we haven't yet identified.
A recent study of human genomes in Papua New Guinea suggests that humans may have lived with and interbred with Denisovans there as recently as 15,000 years ago, although the claims are controversial. Their genetic legacy is more certain. Many living Asian people inherited perhaps 3 to 5 percent of their DNA from the Denisovans. There was also the development of language as evidenced by the appearance of sophisticated tools, cave paintings and other forms of artistic expression. The development of agriculture leading to the rise of civilizations and the beginning of human history. Around 2000 years ago, the expansion of human populations and the spread of civilization across the world took place. Later came the age of exploration and colonialism which brought about significant changes in human societies and cultures. Today, Homo sapiens are the dominant species on Earth with a global population of over 8 billion and an impact on the environment and other species that is unprecedented in human history. Despite the bits of genetic ancestry our ancestors contributed to living people, all of our close relatives eventually died out leaving Homo sapiens as the only human species. Their extinctions add one more intriguing, perhaps unanswerable question to the story of our evolution. Why were we the only humans to survive? New discoveries are always adding key waypoints to the chart of our human journey. Debate over the definition of which fossil remained modern humans given these disparities is common among experts. So much so that some seek to simplify the characterization by considering them part of a single diverse group. In conclusion, the evolutionary journey of Homo sapiens is a remarkable story of adaptation, innovation and transformation. From small groups of hunter-gatherers to global societies connected by technology, humans have come a long way in just a few hundred thousand years. However. Our success as a species has also come with a price as we face challenges such as climate change, resource depletion and social inequality. As we continue to evolve and shape our world, it is important to reflect on our past and use our knowledge to create a better future for ourselves and for the planet. Thanks for watching guys and please remember to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then. This is Halabella and see you soon.